Happy Monday guys. I decided I'm just going to get my drone done first thing this morning. This was a much needed and this is our half term. Me and my kids we were all ready for this half term. Um, I felt like it was much needed. So let's get started today's video. I hope you're going to get loads of motivation from this video and you will do some cleaning then around your house as well. I can't be the only one who feels like my weekends are always jump packed with a never ending to do list sometimes it feels like a losing a battle between either spending time with my family or getting through my to-do list as a working mom i have a zero energy for anything extra during the week so there is some of the things that i do on a weekend or you can say when i have a time or when i am off from my work that makes my life so much easier so first thing i'm doing in my house today is cleaning my kitchen making sure everything is in the right place i do spend a lot of time in the kitchen because i love to cook and it's something that i enjoy I'm just making sure my dishwasher is properly deep clean and there is no stains on the dishwasher as well after loading the dishwasher i'm going to wipe down the counters and then i will all the empty jars as well I've just been to my grocery shopping I always clean my kitchen first then I open my grocery bags otherwise it makes no sense to me and I have a habit I always make space for things first I'm buying even new clothes or anything I need a space first in my house then I get the things otherwise it just makes me feel like um, my house is messy and it's just like something that I have sometimes I I really love clothes something but it's been in my cupboard for so long I just get rid of them sometimes it's really hard but it is what it is and if you need to get rid of things to make your life easy and make your house looks clean just do it and believe me it is the best feeling in the world grocery shopping is important job in my to-do list on the weekend if you ever been to my channel i did mention before i do my grocery shopping very early in the morning i'm a morning person i love to go for a grocery shop around seven sometime in the morning i love to finish all my to-do list in the morning i feel like morning time is like world is so quiet and it's so peaceful morning are the best time for me uh, to finish all my chores because early in the morning my kids are usually they are in the bed so i try to finish my jobs as quick and as possible as i can so the rest of the day i can spend time with them if i'm doing things like cleaning and other things sometimes i feel like i'm taking their time away from them but this is what it is and it is a life we have to i think having a good routine and it can make your life so much easier when i came to the kitchen this morning my kitchen was completely disaster as you seen the sink was full of dishes everything was everywhere but i feel like putting everything back where they belong and especially putting the dishes away instantly it looks so much better I try to keep my fridge as neat and tidy as possible because it brings me peace, it brings me happiness. Um, having a stocked fridge literally makes me feel like I'm on top of the world and like I have my life together even though I don't. I also love stock my fridge because I want to make sure that I and my children are eating everything and everything that I've just bought making sure that I'm going to use that as well. Does anyone else spend a small fortune on fruit every single week for their kids? Honestly, my kids love fruit. If I skip the meal, they will be happy if I just give them fruit. Um, probably they got it from their mom because I could eat fruit all day every day and if money wasn't an object but um, I feel like fruit is definitely not the worst thing for my kids to be addicted to so it's just more an expensive side especially when it's off season like my little one she loves mango and sometimes I just feel like like junk food is so cheaper and it's just not fair but like healthier things like especially when it comes to fruit vegetables and all these kind of things are so expensive 
while I was talking about being healthy and everything but it's a weekend so my son wanted to eat waffle but I was so tired so I was being a lazy mom I've just take the pancake mixture out and just make waffles for him and honestly it turned out so nice and he didn't even notice them so I've just put loads of cream on top Nutella on the top and some give him some strawberries and it was the perfect waffles for him and he didn't try them so sometimes you just have to work out what is best for you and what is best for your children and when it comes to food and fruit or anything i just feel like no food is a bad food as long as you have a balanced diet that's what you need and a healthy lifestyle and um, now it's time for myself after cleaning my kitchen putting the grocery away i feel like i've just did so much this morning i felt so productive but that's what you need and uh, now i'm quickly going to make some fresh juice and if you've been to my channel before you know how much i love these fresh juices i feel like these are kind of a, a boost drinks or energy drinks for me and no before wasting any more further time let's go upstairs and i am feeling so productive today full of energy so i'm sure the guys if you are watching this video you're feeling the same and we're gonna do, do a lot of things today so downstairs was not very messy today. The kitchen was disaster. That's what I've just cleaned, put the dishes away. Straight away without wasting any time, I came upstairs and I've just started cleaning my room because I know myself, if I just sit down and it is the hardest job for me to get up and redo it again. So when I get up, I try to do as much as I can. Is anybody else this struggle as well? I just don't take breaks because if I take breaks, that's mean one hour, two hour is just my break and that's not really good for me. So I just continue. I had my juice and I was like, Mariam, you need to get up and you need to carry on. Otherwise, it's not going to get done because it is a week off for me. But still, I have loads of things to do and um, I have some of my friends coming over this weekend. And so I'm just making sure I'm just doing as much as I can. I love to host people and especially when it comes to your friends or your family and who doesn't want that and my um, because I don't usually get a chance to see my friends that much so we decided whenever it's a half term or long weekend I just get together with them so this time I was like you can come to my house we can have a nice chill day I am excited on the same side, I'm a little bit panic as well. I have to do this, I have to do this, but I have made my list what will be I cooking. So this is why I'm just doing one thing at a time. So I've done my grocery, came upstairs, I'm just gonna clean from upstairs. So everything is neat and clean. So I've cleaned my windows, I'm just making sure I'm gonna do the um, deep clean vacuum as well. Now I've just cleaned my room, I'm just gonna go to my daughter's room their room is luckily not that much messy still i have to declutter their toys they have so many toys in their toy storage i feel like i need to declutter them i need to just make sure that whatever they need essential toys they should have in their room it's a half term that is the other to-do list in my list but it is not for today so whenever it's half term i feel like after six months i just feel like i do tell them you need to check the toys that you really want you can keep them and the toys that you really don't need we can either give them to the charity or someone else that can enjoy those toys so now I just today mission is to clean my room I'm just putting their toys in the toy baskets and I'm just gonna wipe down everything wipe down the windows and vacuum the floor this is my list today otherwise if I'm gonna carry on I won't be able to finish anything as long as you have a home for everything in your house it makes your life so much easier and i feel like when i tidy up and clean my house i just do it so quick because everything has a place for um everything and it just makes my life so much easier when it comes to tidy up and clean after uh, putting everything away wiping down now it's time for me to make their bed this is the job that i don't like but i always make sure before 
before I leave, I always make my bed. If you haven't watched my video recently, I've uploaded about my morning routine. Um, so I did share what I do before I go to work. So obviously every day is not the same, and especially when you have kids, every day is a different. But it is essential to have a nice routine in your life, especially I feel like everybody needs a routine, especially if you have a kids. Um, I think if I won't have a routine, my life would be a real, real, real mess. I can't just cope with everything. So having a set routine, it makes your life so much easier and it makes me a very calm and productive person as well. The last thing in this room I have to do today is to vacuum the floor properly under the um, beds and under the furniture as well. Then after that I'm just going to move to my son's bedroom. When it comes to my son's bedroom I do encourage him to make his bed. Um, I feel like I have to tell him every day but at least he's doing it and he's getting it doesn't matter if you have to tell your children every day as long as they are registering it in their mind and they are doing the same thing every day someday they will get there sometimes when i clean my house often half an hour is just the same mess again and i ask myself this question why i bother to clean my house but then i feel like it is a blessing to have a house and look after these beautiful people thank you so much for watching today's video i hope you get a little bit of motivation and thank you for stopping by on my channel i hope you will come back for the next video and now it is for my time to go downstairs and and luckily downstairs was tidy i'm just gonna sit down and relax bye bye for now